And I don't think the conversation is, is, is exciting. It's very, very much exciting. So I don't want to even take a lot of the time. We're going straight into the conversation of today. Now, in the loft with us, Enana Pei is a very beautiful, beautiful woman. Now, while I was going through who a pathologist is, what they do, I know every time, you know, outside, every time a pathologist was called, I knew that it was a postmortem. However, reading pay more into it, I realized that they do more than that. Um, you know, finding cure to diseases and lots of other things. However, the postmortem side still worries me and freaks me out. And let me tell you, already in my mind, and I'm say, okay, and the woman who is coming, probably be a, you know, she's a bit ragged. Just you say know, muscling. Like, then I have this beautiful <laughs> woman, very looking very young. And she is the pathologist. Nidin Eye, the, let me go to the, Veneranda Nyakon. Veneranda Nyakon is a pathologist. Ladies and gentlemen, Veneranda. Veneranda. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Veneranda. So, so, horror, I, horror, horror, horror I know, right? Oh, no. <laughs> so, how, um, oh, not for first thing, because I'm sure they, they can't get okay, it right the first time. Some people call me Veni. Venny. Venny. Yes, please. Others okay. Randa. Others call me Randa. Randa. Okay. A few I like, others call me Venny. Venny. I like the Randa. Venny, Venny, but I yeah. like the Randa. Venny, the other crew. I'm going to cry. 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 Oh, I, I am, I am, I'm now catching on the conversation because when Cassandra was talking about, um, you know, what you do, what you do, what you do, not me, I mean, so, where did not Not me. Share them who, what you do, but what you do. Congratulations. Hey, mm. what you do? Congratulations. Are you fearful? No, no, I'm not. It should be that way. You are not fearful. How what are you, you fear fearful? Most? How does a beautiful say? woman not be fearful? The question I ask everybody is, what am I to fear? Mm. So if patient A is called ER today, the fact that ER dies doesn't change her. She's just in a vulnerable state. The person that's dead is in a vulnerable state. Yeah. Vulnerable is when you're vulnerable, you're still alive. No, when you're vulnerable, you're dead. When you're, when you're vulnerable, you're dead. Yeah. That is so in the, that the medical... So that person help. And then what is that help? The help is that you, the person helps you to figure out what killed him. Yeah, cool, no. And then once you figure out what killed him, you can fight for him. Just, you can look for justice for him. You can look for cure for the living. So we actually study the dead to be able to help the living. That wow. is a big job. Th that, that is a big job. And, 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 and you're, Randa, you're changing the world. Okay, uh, not too well. Not too well. I speak clinical chi. You speak clinical chi. You have okay. a kind of sound. Yeah, 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 because the conversation in there is it's, it's going to be quite deep. I want to know, Adiena Usru. What, what's Obia when you usru? Ebia na me, me, usru, no usru. Na me, kawata, say, what I do not fear, probably you might fear. I actually and what, fear the living. You fear what? I fear the living. I, I could you imagine. You fear the living. Yeah. I could imagine. Someone is standing by you and then you have no idea what the intentions of the person is, is for you. But you know that You would intention? rather talk yeah. to the dead. Yeah. You know that. Um, it's beautiful. Sometimes before you start a postmortem, you actually pray with them that they help you find what killed them. And it happens? It happens. Okay. Yeah, the it's, sound it's, it's not as humui as it is or as it sounds. Randa. Ew. Randa. No, it's Randa, not. let's be honest. R Randa. Me, the, okay, so a lot of people fear ghosts. Uh -huh. But let me ask you, have you ever seen a ghost before? I have not seen a ghost before. So we fear a lot of things we have never we seen. We haven't seen. We fear a lot of things people have told us. But we haven't experienced them for ourselves. So the pathology is actually the basics of every disease. All the mm -hmm. diseases we know today is because someone took their time to study the basics of the disease. Okay. You know pneumonia is pneumonia because someone did a postmortem on someone okay. who was coughing, someone who had fever, and that's how come we got the whole criteria for, for pneumonia. pneumonia. And then once you know the basics for the disease, then you can target it at any point and then you treat it. Nice. Now let's get back to the basics. <laughs> okay. Ushano. Now we're an officer we. Okay, so growing up, I wanted to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. 
And then when I entered medicine, in the first three years, uh, we call it preclinical. Okay. I was taught by a lot of people who were in doctors. Then one day a man walks into the classroom, very eloquent, he was exuding a lot of knowledge. Mm. And that was Dr. Akapo, okay. Dr. Patrick Kafi Akapo. So I wanted to be like him. Wow. Then when we started house job, it looked like pathology wasn't lucrative because we go to medical school to be mm -hmm. able to help our families. We want money. Yes. And then the idea of orthopedic surgery came to mind. But by the time we finished house job, the desire to do the pathology was still there. So that's the thing with pathology. If you want to do pathology, the desire almost never goes away. Do you have, do you have, a, do you have a pet? Yes, I have a dog. You have a dog? Oh, we'll never be over pine in Mumeboa. Yes. Uh, thank you. I want to know why. He why? You so know, that so the you're next curious. Dog you it will not catch that disease. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, Jeez, is, that, is, that. that means you are a curious person. Everybody is supposed to be curious. Every woman is curious. We are not satisfied with half truth. Every woman or every, every, every person? Every woman. Every woman. It's not why do you say every woman is curious? Um, every woman is always curious, curious when you are, you are dating or something, but else. When you're taking care of your child, you need to be curious so that that child doesn't die. Doesn't it die. It is that curiosity that helps you protect that child. Mm -hmm. That is why you can protect the child to the loss of your own life. But as far as you're concerned, you want that child to live. So it's the curiosity that is in every woman that is heightened in you. <coughs> For because, I yes, we all curious. Me, I'm very, very curious. But we know, so I don't know. What say? Uh -huh. So that is wonderful. So you got that inspiration. You, you, you saw a man walk in. Around the time now, we are what they say, we caught into pathology. Am I right? We caught into pathology. And that a mad was saying, and they Okay. So until you contacted me on Saturday, I didn't know it was a male dominated area. So the thing with pathology is, I entered in 2019, not knowing how many females were there. But then when you contacted me, I looked at the statistics and realized that it was actually a male dominated place. You don't so the know. original idea was not because it was a male dominated oh, place. Oh, okay. And then I entered there. The thing with pathologists is that they are ready to help you. So I entered there, I realized that the work was not difficult. The volume of information to study is a lot. Mm -hmm. Because you can imagine that diseases are evolving yes. every day and then you have to know the new things that are happening. A lot of them have similar yes. characteristics. You have to use other tests to be able to differentiate Absolutely. them and all that. But we had a good support system. Mm. We had all the men ready to help you, ready to get to your potential, ready to get whatever is new. You are that beautiful as well. I mean, why not? They would want to help you. They want to help everybody, not just the pretty ones. They want to help the pretty ones. <laughs> Randa, what do you do for fun? Okay, so um, why I chose pathology was also because it was well structured. You go to work on Monday to Friday, you know what you are doing. You know, you have 30 slides to look at. You look at the 30 slides, you close for the rest of the day. As early as 2 o'clock, you can close. Okay. You can get to work as late as 10 o'clock. By 2 o'clock, you have closed. If you're not up to duty, you, go in the, you can decide to go in the morning at 7 a.m. And then as early as 10, you are done for the day. That gives you enough time to do other productive work. If God says that it is not good for man to be alone, for which he created a suitable helpmate, which is a woman, mm -hmm. then if I'm performing my role as a woman, as a mother, as a wife, I should have full concentration. I shouldn't, yes. I shouldn't have undivided attention. And so because of that free time, because of that extra time for productive work, pathology is good for every woman. She's even, she, what's your Randa favorite food? Conv conv favorite convincing food young well. slices. Yeah, I was like, me too. With any stew. With any stew. I was like, I eat it with water. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, now, um, uh, a friend is saying, why is it that, um, <laughs> you know, don't also be a whole no more, Sebi, 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 Yen Kansen, B, N, C, S, M, so. Se, E, B, A, um, Obobura, Sebi, E, B, A, Mocha, Na, Se, Baby, Sana, what's it? We lose your appetite. Unti mini di. Obi o hano mo asabi. Oh hun. Eh eh. Obi obi a ebi a we bua. Odu fi a unti mini di. Bear two days and now three days. Kwa unti mini di me kasi mi chelo se. Eh funa min funa men suru na ebe me. Ena I don't know. Maybe it's very close to me or it's not close to me at all. Eh min suru. My boy would have baby she she. Me anka sami funu da ko pi ni anwe se mi pi zo mi chelo se. Hey, this is life. Unti no. Do you have that? Ope by right. Ope you maybe ope ope did you okay? Yeah, I eat a lot of meat also. You what? You like I eat a lot of meat you also. You eat a lot of meat. Okay, so a lot of people fear what they don't know. Like I mentioned already. Yes. Mm -hmm. So one time I went to do an autopsy somewhere. 
it's a private autopsy. And then there was this fear in the son and then the brother mm -hmm. of the deceased. So I said, okay, come and identify the body for me. Mm -hmm. That's one of the most important things yes. to do in autopsy. Because you are going to examine patient A. You do not know patient no, A. Yeah. But you need a family member to come and, to identify, come and identify patient A. So they entered the suite. And then after the identification, is this your father? He said yes. Is this your brother? He said yes. Okay, you can now go. But if you wish to stand, you can stand. They left. They stood there throughout. They stood throughout. And it didn't make any difference in their lives. Oh, why? So let's, let's go into... It. Sorry that we we, we we centering around the autopsy alone. Because okay. from what you said, your job goes beyond that. In fact, autopsy is 20% yeah. of what I do. Oh, wow. Ah. So Histology the 80%? Is 80 percent of what I do. Oh, wow. So every time I take a slide, okay. so what we do is that every surgical specimen, whatever your surgeon removes from you, comes to us. We have the singular honor to give him the diagnosis. Mm. Without oh. my diagnosis, he can't continue treating you. Mm. Mm. And then it is based on my diagnosis. He sends you to an oncologist or he sends you home. Mm. Fantastic. So all the biopsies you hear of yes. is the pathologist that it's makes pathologist the diagnosis. It's the pathologist that makes it diagnosis. Unfortunately, we are not recognized because your surgeon removes a specimen from you. You are the surgeon's patient. He removes a specimen from you, brings it to the pathologist. You do the diagnosis. And then they say they go to the lab. Yes. Then the result comes in an envelope to the patient yes. who brings it back to the surgeon. Yes. And the surgeon tells you, Adia, you know, yes, you have cancer. But the person who diagnosed the cancer is not recognized. You're Rana, right. Yes. You deserve a standing so ovation. At the end of the day, yeah. what we say is that we are the doctor's doctor. Absolutely. So in some countries, like in the US, the pathologist actually goes into theater with the surgeon. With the surgeon. And as he keeps cutting, we, keep, we will tell you that you have gone beyond the margins or you can stop your surgery. If we don't tell you to stop, you keep going. Oh, this is real education because mm -hmm. Up until Annette, you say 80% of your job is actually this. Yeah. And the 20% is just the, the autopsy. It's just the autopsy. All right? they tell us when we go to the hospital is, yeah, they call lab. Yeah, they call lab. Yeah, they call lab. No, the envelope. The envelope, no, see, everybody, they call my doctor. Now you're from Wako. Doctor, baby, you know, we're ready, because one table of fun, I say. Into your ready, bro, for now, no, I catch you. Is that you? You are free of this thing. Oh, Ube, did Ube, did perfectly? Because if I say, you know, Ube, did perfectly. Now, you said, sir, until your friend will say, oh, you know, Ube, didn't come on, no. You did not know, sir, a Jumana, who, you know, a man, ma, do, do, and a yes, a Jumana, ma, and share their name. What were some of your challenges, you know? Oh, yeah, Juma, we, you know, in, in doing this job? Okay, first of all, I was a woman. And then the issue of marriage. Would your husband be okay knowing that you go to the autopsy suit every now and then? And at the time, I wasn't dating, so it wasn't a big deal. And then, yes, you want to date a few people, and then they are skeptical about you going to the morgue, you seeing dead bodies. But those who understand are okay. And then the other thing was that, um, it was a lot of things to learn and a lot of women are distracted. So I had my own life going on and then I had to learn a lot of things as well. Mm. But the good thing was that I had people to help me. Okay. So my bosses are there to help me. I had Professor Reed in the department, Prof TT, Prof GC. And then in my department, actually, my HOD is a female as well. Mm. So they were there to help me. They, and like I say, there's nothing new. Mm -hmm. From today to the rest of your life, there's nothing going to be new. Everybody needs mentors. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you have challenges, you contact your mentors. Mentors who are actually interested in your growth, like not that. mentors who want to use you. Absolutely. So if a mentor is interested in your growth, they're able to help you navigate the challenges. you your family, or anything. You have perfectly spoken about your support system, your HOD, your 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 um your your, your lecturer um even your colleagues that are around you know the support system you're getting for young people but okay my okay my mother doesn't know what i do eh? <laughs> she doesn't understand she, or she doesn't know she doesn't know what i do she, she doesn't, doesn't know, know what you do because because she doesn't, she doesn't doesn't like it so i don't tell her what so i do she, she so what? all i do is that she doesn't know what i do because you she doesn't want what a doctor. I do. So all she knows is that. Dr. Venerada. Well, no, wait. Father, I'm, 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 because she doesn't like what I do. She doesn't like what you do. So when I suggested it to her initially, she didn't like the idea. Okay. I don't know who saw your caretaker. Your friend said, 
uh, poor bearer and answer, oh, 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 who is saying? <laughs> undertaker, who saw your undertaker? So, and answer? Yes, so we are now trying to explain to her, we are now trying to get her to be convinced that what I do is actually for the living, not for the dead. Pardon me, like what about your, your, your father? My father is a vet. So oh, my father dissects oh, animals already. Oh, Both of you are dissecting. So now, yeah. now, 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 now we see, it's a, a, honor, a honor passion. Is it you. because we are burnt in a woman in your honor? I think so. Uh, of course, she was your worried bar. about marriage. She was worried about marriage. Yeah. So who knew be over because me kwako worry and attacker. Yeah. And now we undertaker. We are going undertaker. Maybe you have to explain to her because on whoever knows how we undertaker. No, no, no. She doesn't think I'm an undertaker. At least she knows I'm a doctor. She knows you're a doctor. And you're never okay. a doctor. Quite juma. So. <laughs> All right. So that is what happens in your home. Wonderful. Intino. Um. But you see, so we pay pictures. Icha. We pay kura. Are they? On a normal day, why should I go around? I, I don't see why she's a Do you think, sir, where you man now we as male dominated, and now where you man now we know a ye be be free will want to say we all bar no? Um, there are some parts, um, some parts I mean, fantasy. How do I put it? Uh, some femininity be a free one, I said, we cause of a juma we no, not at all. Robert Ben and Pepe Jimmy, no, 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 okay. So, aside the picture, I do other things that are feminine. Like, uh, like swimming, <laughs> like swimming, <laughs> swimming is swimming. Did you say swimming? Swimming is feminine. Oh wow! Oh, like, so do I, do a, I do a lot of cooking as well. Oh, okay. that's great. I do a lot of baking as well. Right. And then yeah, we sometimes I make up for other females. In your in your quest to um, you're not married, right? Okay. So in your quest to go into that, or are you thinking of going there or not? I will. You will. Okay. Are you, are you that young? I am that old. You are that old. You don't look that old, so you won't disagree. <laughs> because she's fine. You out because like she's that. fine. She's very beautiful, but she yeah, really does look she young fine. as well. Um, in your quest to go there, have you had shooters who are also worried, say, nah, where'd you may? Eh, no, okay. You made it, Okay, so, like I just explained to you not long ago that the majority of my work is histology. The autopsy bit is out. In fact, in some countries, people don't practice um, autopsy at all. You can decide to go full time to histology, go full -time. Okay. or you can decide to go full time forensic pathology, oh, right. or you decide to go full time cytopathology, okay. which is just the cells. Okay. You don't do any autopsy at all. I haven't met any suitor who is worried about the fact that I do autopsies. That's Not great. Not yet. But, uh, okay. In the new world, says you are you okay? Or you're proud to say. Because I'm a person who, a person who knows. Now, if you're a mother, now say, baby, today, today, some mommy born and he say, today, the autopsy is with it. You know, but have you? And oh yeah, you may. You know, I again, congratulations. You know, I really admire you. I respect you a lot for what you do. Not because of um, the number of uh, vulnerable uh, in the day, but uh, for finding out, you know, causes of root causes of so many things, and 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 because of that, and you yari and be free, and then you to me yeah. People will not really understand, but I hope said they understand. So we do mano ena eko kocho she yari a yoku obi na etimi achre se sa yari we say nete oye se ya obi nyani se ene yoku e drone yeah. I mean, it's it's a lot, cause I have been to the hospital and me who. Uh, after surgery and everything, they had to take some chance of something, something, something. Take come go lab and manda anxiety. Chemi be ya manda. Sister, ne sirande ni ne jamani ne sirande ni manda for two weeks continuous. Mm. I couldn't sleep mm. because you say you the call ena the feedback ne betchere se wo abrabona wo be bono e be ya ya na engi ya. So you could imagine two weeks manda mm. and to know sirande mu ne wo chere. Mm. You know, because some people say, Oh, I don't want to know. Me, I want to know. It's very important for you yeah. to know. Ain't yeah. you know until I got that way and send a meeting me. So people like me and others really do appreciate what you do. And then I who say, Oh, send a call round out. Yeah, you say yeah, the collab, yeah, the collab. What you say? Uh huh. Now in a Jumaya we ye what she am ma to say our muye wa jumani be. And I say, Bia, have you lectured in a class, or I'm just asking, have you lectured in a class where you have actually seen some females sitting in there, and they are also motivated the same way you were motivated by a year or lecture? No, what's your friend? Is it a uh, Patrick? Uh, uh, yeah, 
Okay, so yes, pathology inadvertently you will teach. Yeah. You teach medical students, mm -hmm. you teach residents, doctors who also want to be pathologists. Mm -hmm. In fact, currently as we speak, my department is dominated by females. Wow. Really? Yes. Wow. So because of the work-life balance, a lot of us have enough knowledge to now go into pathology. Pathology also has a lot of opportunities for a lot of people. Okay. There's enough work for everybody. Okay. So like I said, the diseases we are talking about now, yeah. you want to know how far. Yes. How far. And then that helps you with a pharmacotherapy. Oh, why? Because if you know how the disease progresses, someone wants to tack, tackle from the first yes. basis. Drugs can be produced yes. from there. You can go into full-time research. Wow. Because cancers change every day. True. There's something about every cancer that changes every day. So I'm on WhatsApp pages and then someone says that, oh, they took this to the lab this time, the diagnosis was this. Mm. And then they removed the breast again and then the diagnosis changed. Mm -hmm. It is not really a change. It's because the cancer has changed. Has changed. So there is full-time research in pathology as well. So there are people who want to just go into research. They don't want to have anything to do with clinical work. They don't want to have anything to do with the hospital system. Yes. They're going to full-time research. Then there are some people who say that we want to do only cytopathology. And then they go there. Well, not for four months. Come on, baby. Baby, 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 I, we'll go to the beach together. Yeah. We have to. Okay. So um, <laughs> let's 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 look at, let's look at this. So a mana mu training or more more. So you know you say you have more. Um, you you have women in the classroom. You're teaching, and you can go to um, other places and everything. You spoke something about balance, work life balance. Work life balance. Tell me about it. The balance. So the work life balance is that every woman wants to work in today's world. You can't be a woman and not work because you, you, we need money. Mm. Money rules okay. our lives. Apart from God ruling, you need money to run your daily activities. So what is that work that can give you enough time, enough time. to be able to do to the other your things life. in life? Absolutely. And so you go to work in the morning. You know what you are doing after work. You continue with your life. So you are not at home and then someone calls you to say, Hey, Dr. Nyako, this patient of yours, I need this and that. No, I don't have that. I don't have that kind of distraction. You know, I just when got I goosebumps when you said Dr. Nyako. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> <When> <laughs> <I'm> so, sweet. <laughs> so when I'm home, I have full concentration, I have full mm -hmm. attention. I raise my children the way I want to raise my yes. children. Nobody distracts me. I'm not in the middle of sleep 4 a.m. You call me to say that you need this document or that document on that patient. You call me during working hours, I pick up. You cannot call me. There's when no close, emergency with you? That there's no it. emergency. Yeah. Is it, does it come with the job? Or because I know that doctors are always, you know, Autops emergency. Oh, so pathologists do not have emergencies. emergencies. Okay. 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 So that is one specialty for every female. There is no emergency. You need to take your time. No, no, no. So, no. so, so even you. if you are, so there are some people who say they do not want to become doctors because they do not want to see blood. Pathology is the option for you. Okay. We don't see blood. I will be a oh, 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 oh. Uh, that is if you want to practice autopsy pathology. Uh, but the other side, we don't see blood. So because of that work-life balance, yeah. a lot of women are encouraged to come there. Because women raise children. It's women true. are the core so of the house. The so you need the time. It's, you know, you know um, Yenko, uh, into that kind of person, maybe I said, tell me about one particular job that you did. And you were so happy and satisfied. I know all your jobs will come as okay. I'm good. I'm happy. You mean jobs in pathology? Yes. Okay. Say Juma, like hospital. What case? I don't know how to call it. You know, case bia bia abeto weni mwa. You know, after uti me ye no, you were really happy, really satisfied, and you know, you thought so. This is good. Okay. When it comes to pathology, every single case gives you satisfaction. Mm -hmm. So a doctor sees a young child. So last week, case in point, last week I saw a 33-year-old male mm -hmm. who was paralyzed. Mm. And they thought had a tumor at the spine. So they took a biopsy of the tumor and brought it to me. 
I, the slide was prepared by the technician and everything was delivered to me. And then I look under the microscope, it was TB. So then I called the surgeon to tell him that, oh, it's just TB. And oh. he was happy. Because this is a 33-year-old whose life is going down. He's already paralyzed. He has children. He has a wife. And tuberculosis cost him. Tuberculosis gave him a tumor at the back. And oh, then he's the paralyzed. So then you thought that it was a cancer. So yeah. the surgeon thought it was a cancer. cancer. If it is a cancer, you know the country in which we are in. Mm -hmm. People don't have money. Yes. And if it is a cancer, you now have to do the x-ray, you now have to do CT yeah. scan, you have to do MRI. That is why people come to the TV station to beg for funds yeah. and all that. But telling him that it was just TB, at all least. he needed to do is treatable. He treats it. Wow. The tumor goes down. He goes to enucleate what is left, and the patient is working again. Fantastic. Now that, that's You know, I've always rewarding. wanted to know how doctors feel when their patients are healed. Some people say, say, doctors, if you are a nurse, if you are a nurse, and you say, you are a nurse. Again, I always use some examples that I know. Say, oh, doctor, bye bye. And then I remember, my son just, hey, you're working already. Walk on. Hey, you're working already. Me, I'm not happy the way you're happy like that. <laughs> Me, I, you know? And I don't know whether it's one of the doctors that I met a very, you know, lovely young doctor say hey, you're walking again you're strong because i wanted to force myself to do that but to hey, i know feel so a doctor for informal home maybe i better the informal home it's not true it's not true it's not true it's not true at all every doctor is happy when their patients are happy wow. that is why a lot of females go into pediatrics mm. children don't pretend children don't pretend so a child is half fine and the child is running around and it gives a lot of joy to the pediatrician yeah. and the pathologist as well when you come and you think it's tumor, everybody is running around thinking it's tumor, and then you tell them it's not tumor. Everybody's happy. Everyone is happy. Tell us one one last thing, and then you know I I could talk to you f for three days, you know, because I'm happy about what you do. If I if I known earlier, you know, I, <laughs> because I'm happy about what you do. So um, if there was something you need to tell a, a young woman out there who is afraid of coming into your field, but they need your yeah yeah. But oh, he has some sort of encouragement. And I say, you know, you always say, you were saying that, you know, you fear what you, you do not know. So what would you tell that young, young female? So if I can do it, you can do it. If I that, can do it in this number of years, in the short possible time, then it's doable. And then the next thing is that there are lots of opportunities. You shouldn't be in a place where you feel stagnated, where you can't move forward, where you cannot do much. Everybody can do it. If I can do it, you can also do it. Absolutely. And there is nothing to fear. Wow. Well done to you. Yeah, well, well done. done. I, I don't know. Well you know, sometimes you, know, this you say... calmness around what uh, yeah. you do. And um, it, it's, it's, it's scary. And it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's scary it and it's... Um, it's uh, you know, it's refreshing at the same time. Mm. You know, mm. say, and Yama, you should, you know, today she's making me see it quite Normal. differently. Say, um, so Nipa now, on the last in the and you will know vulnerable states in a day. You know, you know, there's nothing really to fear. And the joy of, um, you know, taking a tissue to the lab and 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 finding a disease, um, the, 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 the cure. To a, a disease is also very very refreshing. Well done. Thank you. You deserve. <laughs> you deserve <laughs> more. You ah, really deserve okay. More. Today we we spoke to a doctor, you know, um, a pathologist, and Doctor Nyakuni. Doctor Nyakuni. She's called Doctor Randa. Uh huh. Don't worry yourself. <laughs>